time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live for September 6th. Wednesday, September 6th. Well, yesterday was immaculate. Today was, how do I say this? Fucking terrible. (laughs) But yeah, so yesterday was awesome. Today I've given back a lot of what I got yesterday. Uh, But we still have power hour, my friends. Uh, I've also got, so I lost on my AM ratio, lost on my duck, lost on my DKS, first Dick K special loser. Um, I do have, I still have on my PM iron condor. And uh, needs a little bit of a move lower. So between the PM IC and power hour, could still come out okay. We'll see. <laughs> well, I think Dick K was uh, traveling today, so I think he put on some stuff, but probably not as heavy as he would have otherwise. Time flies have done good. Took off a couple winners, one of which we put on today and took off today. I need to buy some longs here for power hour. Yeah, today would have been a uh, great travel day. But old SPX, it just uh, came out of the gate red and had a little couple bounces. It's, it's been bouncing a little bit now since noon central. That's when it hit it, hit the bottom. But uh, still down about three quarters of a percent. NASDAQ down almost one percent. Russell, the least weak, down less than half percent. And then Dow down about a half percent. Gold and silver both weak. Notes and bonds mixed. Euro and pound, not too much action. Grains higher. Bitcoin pretty flat. And VIX is up about three and a half percent. Was up quite a bit more. Got back up over 15. Now it's back down to 14 and a half. With all this uh, down movement, it's hoping for some nice juicy premiums, but we got we got to straddle, my friends. Just a raggedy old at the money straddle for Power Hour. <clears throat> That's right. I like the silver lining. Enough negativity out of me. I like the 4465 straddle. That's a good it's a good straddle. For, as far as straddles go, it's over four bucks on each side.
All right, 4465 straddle. Tranche one, straddle 10. 840. Filled at 840 for tranche one. Forty four sixty five. Anybody else in the uh, the PM Iron Condor? The only filter I have for that on Wednesdays is is gaps, so it uh, fit the criteria. So I went ahead with it. Ella, you got a PM. B, nice. My uh, one two DTE bed and breakfast trade is up about four hundred bucks from uh, a few hours ago. Let's see, where did I put that on at? <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I did the wrong strikes to begin with, but I got in at 795. Looks like it's currently trading at 835 ish. Also got a TGIF that's down a little bit. We'll take that one off tomorrow. Hopefully we can squeeze a profit out of that one. We've also got a double calendar in NDX. Started off as a single. That one's up about 600-ish. And that one will come off tomorrow as well at 1DTE. All right, so for tranche one, I got in at 840. So I'm looking for 505 to reduce my stop on tranche one. Man, I uh, I had to take a little nap before power hour today. A little power nap before power hour. <laughs> I was hurting. So my youngest son, he's a cross country runner. He sends me a text last night. He said, "Hey, Dad, you want to run in this five k with me this weekend?" Well, I haven't really run a five k in a while, three point two miles. So as I got up this morning, I was like, "Yeah, I'll run." I was like, "I better, I better do this a couple times before the uh, actual race." So I. Ran my 3.2 this morning. The old body didn't didn't really appreciate it. And um, and all day I've just I, I I thought it was the run, but then all day I've had this like achy body ache feeling, I'm just like worn out. 
I, I I thought I had COVID. I took a COVID test. I'm good there. So you guys don't have to worry about the COVID coming through the airwaves. But uh, yeah, that, that nap did me did me good. You're a referee, Mara? <laughs> Napping is a standard training. Are you talking football or real man's football? <laughs> gotcha. My oldest son is a freshman this year, and he just made the JV soccer team for his high school he's pretty pumped about that had his first game last night but it got rained out the last half of it got shut down Yeah, I've gotten back into fairly decent shape, but uh, more lifting and light cardio. So running is, you know, obviously different muscles. If you're not used to it, you're going to feel it. And I felt it. But at least I know I can finish now. I can make a complete fool of myself at the race. I used to run quite a bit, even even as recent as last November, I did a half marathon. But as soon as I was done with that, I kind of shut it down on the running. And if you're new here, this is what we do. We put on positions. We got a lot of dead time, so we talk about whatever you want. So if anybody has any questions or comments, Feel free to post in the Zero Live chat. Yeah, that climbing, man, that's uh that takes some serious hand strength. We we've just got a just a local little indoor climbing place here that we've gone to a few times and man that is that is uh tough on the hands you gotta have some serious hand strength One good news about the uh, price action this morning is we never got a push up after the open, so it kept me out of the, the just sell puts. Here's the downside expected move for the day, 44.70. They got as low as 44.42. So for my PM iron condor, 
I am looking for 40%, which would be at $12, and that's currently trading at $14.90. So I need a few more bucks to come out of that. Well, now you tell me, Trader AL. It's a little too late for that now. Well, where were you when it was time? All right, getting a little down move out of center down below 45.59. Look at Apple. Apple still fugly. No uptick, no bounce out of Apple. Down 4%. They have a new iPhone coming out soon. Was that today? Market didn't take it well or what? I don't know when the release of is that of the new iPhone 15, but I heard, I remember hearing something recently about it coming. Tranche one is going to need a little bounce. Tranche one trading over 10 bucks stops at Trader AL, I haven't looked at your test, but all you got to do is there's a toggle that says early exit. And then you can put in the time. So here it is. I'll bring it on the screen. So if you go to new back test. Whoa, five to one, five to one calls to puts. Interesting. Use early exit, 415. Oh, three, 315 central, yeah, that's after the market closes. How about uh, 355 central, uh, eastern? It doesn't look like it did anything. Looks exactly the same as, as the original. Oh. No, I think I know what I did. I closed it at the end of zero DTE. You're saying close it at the end of one DTE. Let's try that. Uh, it's actually worse.
Yeah, I'm not sure there. Didn't seem to do what you thought it would. All right, SPX trade at 44.57. Five minutes till tranche two. My PM iron condor is liking this little move lower. Need to buy some longs for tranche two. It looks like it could be 4460 straddle. Or we could get five wide. See where this trades over the next few minutes. Getting a little bounce back to 4460. Still looks like it'd be a 4460 straddle potentially. We keep pushing up, could be a sixty five sixty. Wait another minute or so. If it comes down a little bit, it'll be the 4460 straddle. If it pushes up, it'll be the 4465, 4460 five point strangle. All right, I'm going to go with the 4460, it looks like. Forty four sixty straddle, trying to get filled at 725. If 
filled at 725 4460 straddle now it's pushed up a little bit so 4465 would be a little closer to three All right, so we've got filled at 725. Seven twenty five. So four thirty five is what I'm looking for on tranche two to reduce stop. Five zero five on tranche one, four thirty five on tranche two. Price continuing its little bounce. Got a short strangle in the Euro that we rolled calls down in today. Got a hedgehog in oil. Up a little bit. Take that off by the end of the week. Got a hedgehog in ES. Hasn't moved much since we put that on. Gold, we've got a reverse hedgehog. We're up a few hundred on. MES, we added a, we've got a short strangle. We're not quite to profit target after adjustments on that one, but getting close. I think if I can get out for 44-ish, yeah, we're at 52, so getting there. And then we added a new one, NASDAQ. We've got a little hedgehog that'll come off by the end of this week. It's up a few hundred. QQQ, we put on a new duck today. SPX, we took off a couple of fly, time flies and we added another one. I've still got this. Uh, I did a little video on a reverse time fly. I've still got on it. Cer certainly, I, I talked about kind of the the slope of the T zero line to both the upside and the downside. So whereas you know our normal time fly, we booked profits. This one is actually down a little bit, even though it had a calendar to the downside. It's that put skew that you get with the flies that is so so nice. Well, there's another silver lining, Wooga. <coughs> that reminds me. I haven't heard back from my CPA. I had to file an extension as well this year, which I hate doing.
I had to do it because I got to have an interest in this in company that they issue a K1. And as I'm sure you're familiar, K1s never seem to come out on time. They always seem to delay things. All right, coming back up for tranche one. Got a few minutes before we enter tranche three. some longs for tranche three. So if we hold here, it looks like it'll be the 4465, 4460 strangle for tranche three. Go ahead and get my tranche one charted. It's down to 660. I'm looking for 505 to reduce stop on tranche one. This thing keeps climbing. It could be a potentially a 10 wide. Give it another minute. If it comes down a little bit, it'll be the 6560s. But it looks like it's gonna be the 7060s. Give it just a minute here. Seventy sixties. 
Crunch three, ten wide, fourteen. Trying to get filled at two sixty five. Filled at two sixty five for Tranche three. Low premiums, but ten wide. It's pretty centered. I'll I'm gonna I'll see I'll let tranche three ride till the bell. I forgot to put that in my written plan, but part of my intention for September was to let one of my tranches go to the bell if it was in good position. So a little bit of a discretionary call on my part, but we're ten wide and it's gotta be a strangle. So if tranche three is looks like it's in decent position to pin, I'm gonna I'll let it ride. My PM, still looking for $12. It's currently trading a little over 14. Tranche one, trading at 640. I'm looking for 505. Tranche one with the 65 straddle. Trunch two, I'm looking for 435 to reduce stop. Ooh, and I just got out of, hit 40% on my PM. So I need to reduce my stop from 12 down to six. Look at that, first zero DTE winner of the day. It only took all day. Only took all day, but I'll take it. So where I was going before I got rudely interrupted by that profit target was tranche two. Let's see. Currently trading at 640, I need 430. So that's a little ways away.
Nice Frank D. All right, 4460 is my sweetest of sweet spots. 60 to 65 is just fine. That includes my PM, PM trade. Yeah, I've got my PM trade mixed in here as well, which has a 4455 put in it. I haven't had any problems closing trades, Ron. What kind of trade is it? One of these power hours? Feel free to post a screenshot. Keep in mind if one of your strikes is way out of the money, it doesn't have a bid, that's probably the issue. When I say way out of the money, it doesn't really have to be that far out of the money because there's no bids at 44.85 on the call side and 44.40 on the put side. Yeah, most likely you just need to close the shorts. If those are your short options, I would just close those. If you're trying to close the entire iron condor, the longs are going to have zero bid is why it's not filling. Yes, sir. Still 27 minutes to go. I thought we were about done. I need another nap. I need SPX to take a nap, and then I need a nap.
Oh, good, Ron. Glad that worked for you. Mm -hmm. SPX up to 44.64 at tranche one, trading down to 5.30, 5.10. Getting close to reducing my stop on tranche one from four to three. I saw a 505 flash. Yep. So I'm going to reduce my stop to six, uh, 805. If I can do some math today. Up to forty four sixty five. Nasdaq still down over one percent. Not getting quite the bounce SPX is getting. Russell's only down a third of a percent. Dow's down a half percent. So Nasdaq staying a little weaker than the rest. Although Russell got hit pretty good yesterday. He's down over 2%. Quite a reversal in VIX, just on that little bounce. I was looking at VXX, but I like to see the volatility based on the indicator, the IV indicator. I like to see that the 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 volatility on volatility to be higher. You can see it's on the twenty one day; it's still below fifty. Annual still below 50. So I, li I like to see that spiking as well as the price of VXX to put on a, a vertical. Uh, it's $3 over the current price, Wuga. So I was waiting for price to get down to 505. So I would adjust it to 805. And that's how it's done in the back test as well. It says something to the effect of based on the current price. I knew it was coming, Wuga. You and I were right here, buddy. You know, I know it's coming out of your mouth.
All right, if we can just chop around in a little five point range between here and a little bit lower. 20 minutes, 19 minutes till the bell. What else, my friends? What else do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> yeah, power hour and cold plunges. They're kind of one and the same. Both can get your blood pumping a little bit, put you into fight or flight. How old's your daughter? I've... I don't know if you're on here. I was talking about cold plunges one day. I thought about, uh, I thought about getting one, but then I just took a cold shower and I was like, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> 23. Everybody who does it, it swears by it, man. which I, I could see basically if you do it, if you do a cold plunge every morning when you wake up, basically there, there's nothing else that day that is going to even seem like it's a big deal, right? You've already, you've, you've already put your, your mind and your body through basically torture so that any little negative thing, what you might can perceive as negative happens throughout the day. It's going to seem like nothing. Yeah. And I've heard that too. It helps with all different kinds of, all different kinds of things. Yeah. I've heard people getting off of ADHD medicine, um, anxiety medicine. Yeah. All that stuff. I have not done the cryo chamber either. I've, I've, uh, there's a, uh, it's like a cryo center, not too far from my house, but I haven't, haven't tried it. Yeah, and there's and there's different different levels with those cold plunges. Like, you know, some people do it at a nice 52 degrees. I know other people who do it. They had there's like a little thin layer of ice on top. It's like at 32.5 degrees. It's hardcore, man. Hardcore. <laughs> Well, it looks like somebody's trying to use the Zoom chat. Danner, Daner. Hey, Daner, we are all posting in the Zero Live chat channel in Discord. So if you wouldn't mind 
switching over there. I usually close the, the Zoom chat here. But to answer your question, uh, yeah, it can be done in an IRA. A lot of folks trade IRAs. We're, we're buying the wings first. And then, um, and then we are selling the shorts. And the reason we do that is because, like I just mentioned to Ron, um, you know, those, the longs have, have no bid pretty quickly after we put them on. I mean, look at all these that are going to expire worthless with no bid. So from that, from after entry, we're really just managing the shorts. And so my OCO orders and everything else is just on the shorts but they are defined risk. They are IRA eligible. <laughs> Trader Bianca, you're a, you're a fair weather cold plunger. All right, so let's see, tranche two, I need 435. trading at 570. Tranche two, I got in, that was the 4460. I'm gonna go ahead and chart that one to keep it in front of me. Can you guys hear a drilling noise in my background? Okay, good. My mic's pretty good about not picking up background noise, but it's blaring in my ear in here. They're doing some construction on the building. Glad you guys can't hear it. All right, so I'm gonna chart tranche two. Trade down to 540. Eleven and a half minutes until the bell. Yeah, you know, I don't. Austin Ra, I don't, I don't know that there's a correct answer to that. I mean, there's some people that are pretty adamant about using Mar. Some people like the win rate from a psychological standpoint. Um, so I, th I think it really comes down to preference. What's going to give you the most confidence? So that one's got a 78 versus a 97. Big difference, pretty decent difference in win rate, although it's only 42 trades. So we're talking about uh, 10, uh, eight, 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 eight different winners. Mar 45 versus, whoa, that's a big difference. 45 versus 13. Total PL is a lot bigger on the high win rate, though, even though it's got a lower Mar. So what's the difference here exactly? Is that your exit conditions? Yeah, okay.
Yeah, you just need to, I think the biggest decision is you need to be okay with the fact that the max loser is going to be big, right? High win rate, but when you have a loss, it's going to sting. So as long as you're cool with that, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of what I look at. Kind of go through the trade log and try to feel the, feel the stingers. All right, nine minutes till the bell. Put my uh, tranche one at three bucks. My stop loss on tranche two needs to be adjusted. To three to two, I think, right? Three to two, yeah. So from to six thirty five. Tranche three. Seventy sixty. It's kind of on the edge though, so I probably won't let that go. Put my order at sixty cents on tranche three. Go ahead and get out of my PM. Go ahead and get out of tranche two. Out of tranche two at 380 and 385. Out of the rest of my PM at 789 and 791. Out of tranche one at oh we got filled on tranche three at sixty cents and out of tranche one at three forty five and I am out nice winner beautiful beautiful ending to the day my friends I'll have to uh, get everything loaded up to Trader Sync to figure out where I ended up but I may be green for the day surprisingly so. Uh, 
Elliot, you posted that you got, you tipped the scale into the green side by $20.50. Very nice. All right, my friends, good stuff. This is how, remember how it used to be where we'd be down in the morning and then power hour would just come in and clean us up for the day and make us green. It's like the old, like the old days, kind of. All right, my friends, uh, take care. Uh, as far as the live stream goes, yeah, I think I'm streaming tomorrow morning, which is the, tomorrow's the 7th. Yeah, so I will be streaming tomorrow and Friday at the market open, as well as for power hour the rest of this week, Thursday and Friday. All right, my friends, take care. Talk to you soon. Cheers.